to the Ferris mower. So the guy wants $5,000 for the Ferris mower, y'all, okay? I think I said that in the video yesterday. Uh, and, you know, Ray had a dream about the Ferris mower, y'all. Ray may, <laughs> I may have to buy that mower, y'all, just because. So check it out, man. I am uh, going down here to look at this Ferris mower. Uh, it's kind of a, I got the inside scoop on it uh, from a guy that just bought this place down here. So all I know is it's a Ferris diesel, cat diesel. It's got about 600 hours on it. Uh, you know, I don't know anything about Ferris mowers like I told you guys earlier. Uh, but. Okay, y'all, so I'm on this Ferris. Man, it seems to be a pretty freaking good mower, man. It's a little bit older than I thought it would be. But, uh, cause I would take this, I would take this canopy thing off. It doesn't have the roll bar, uh, but I don't use those no way. What do you guys think, man? It's a 45, 4500Z, so, uh, IS 4500Z. The, I mean, y'all see how sweet it cuts, man, look. Y'all see them lines right there? Wow. It's got a, oh, how do you? And it's a cat diesel. Wow. Uh, Oh, what a sweet man. Now he did tell me that they don't make it this, the cat don't make these engines anymore. Or they don't make them for Ferris. So, uh, look how big that pump is y'all. Oh my gosh, that's a big old pump. That's a lot bigger than the pumps that I got on my, on my, on my mowers. Everything looks really good, man. Uh, what do y'all think, dude? I see some buildup of something right there. This dirt needs washing. Uh, I don't... It's got a fuel tank here. Got another fuel tank. It's got two fuel tanks. It's got, uh... Six hundred and ninety-two hours on it, y'all. Wow. What do y'all think, man? Y'all want to hear it run? It looks just like all the other, you know, everything's built just like all the other ones. Let's hear it run, y'all. Very nice. Y'all hear that? When I get off of it, does it go dead? Well, that's a nice mower, man. We're gonna see how it cuts this, this heavier grass here. Uh, I'm gonna put you on time when I hyperlapse, whatever. sweet that thing cut man it cut that grass sweet a couple things about it that uh that you got to get used to compared to the x marks well x marks are a lot more nimble you know uh but this machine is made for you know big this machine is made for big cuts and you know things like that man it's yeah i don't 
I mean, you can do manicured lawns with it, but now I, I wouldn't want, I, I wouldn't want to put it on a little bitty lawn, man. Uh, I'll, I'll, well, and of course, you know, I don't, I haven't owned the machine long enough to really, you know, uh, uh, you know, I'm very good at operating it, used to it and all that, all that stuff. So, you know, you gotta get used to these machines as you, uh, The first hell the first 10 hours or so probably you know you're just getting used to the machine you know considering I've you know I've got you know 10,000 hours or more on on the X marks or whatever you know over the years I probably do have that many hours you know uh, so you know that's kind of where I'm at with it one thing about it is every pass you make it cuts it all. It don't matter how tall it is so far. You know, it cuts it all. So, uh, that can make up for the nimbleness, you know, because you don't have to cut nothing twice. Y'all see what I see? What the hell? What the hell you got doing with them tires in your truck, right? Got no room in the back, man. Them some bitch is heavy, man. And they clean, so I stuck them in the back seat, y'all. It's a work truck right here. All right, y'all. There it is, man. Ooh. That's that Ferris with that cat diesel with them twill tires. Damn near unstoppable machine right there, y'all. Unstoppable. I got the I got the solid front casters uh, on order. Uh, they're coming. Uh, they'll be here next week. And yeah, probably end up taking those plates right there off. Uh, but man, there it is, y'all. Ooh, man, that is a beast, man. Now we gotta show them the mower, y'all. Ready to go. And I know, guys, that the twill tires cost a lot, uh, but I, you know, I, 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 I really believe in them, man. You know, uh, and no, didn't nobody give them to me, y'all. I bought them with the money I make cutting grass. That's what I did, and uh, and they. This machine looks 10 times better, man. I mean, dude. So now we at the 31 horsepower cat engine with a lightning going on there and a 61 inch deck backup mower, y'all. That's a freaking backup mower. If you got a backup mower like that, that means you damn are balling or the engine could blow up tomorrow <laughs> you know who knows man you never know i got some cuts we're gonna be doing tomorrow uh with it uh i may have to adjust the deck a little bit wow y'all what a freaking difference but to be honest man since i'm really the only one that's going to be on this mower uh then i know how to adjust the deck accordingly uh so yeah you want to hear it run you want to hear it run oh.
fair. I really appreciate all the comments on the Ferris. One thing that's peculiar about <clears throat> the Ferris is, you know, we all think or like to think or whatever, oh man, that mower's worth more than, you know, $7,500, $7,700. I would agree. But at the end of the day, you know, when somebody tells you the value of something or you're trying to figure out the value of something, these type of things are only valued at what somebody's willing to pay you for. You know, on paper, okay, it's worth, you know, I mean, on paper, that Ferris is probably worth $10,000, you know, on paper. Okay, guys, so uh, I got a buyer for the uh, for the Ferris. He's coming from Tennessee, and uh, I told him I would meet him somewhere uh, up on up in Atlanta. So uh, I'm going to meet him at uh, Town Center Mall uh, by the Home Depot over there. Uh, and he's going to give me a couple extra hundred to meet him. So, yeah. Uh, I hate to see the mower go, to be honest, man. Uh, you know, but uh, I've already earmarked all the money that I'm going to give. I know I'm going to sell it. I mean, uh, you know, I mean, I think I could have sold it without washing it or nothing. I mean, I changed the oil in it and everything. When I, when I finally found that I knew something that, that somebody was for real, for real, real, right? Then I, that, that I was uh, I was in, right? So, uh, yeah. I think what I'm gonna do, y'all, is I'm gonna put the GoPro on the bumper and uh, and ride all the way like that. And maybe, maybe, just maybe, I'll lose the freaking GoPro on the way. So I don't have to do a video about me throwing it or trashing the damn thing so yeah I just got off the interstate uh, a lot further than, than what I was thinking in my head man uh, but I'm about to pull up into the Home Depot over here uh, and I and I hope dude's here that's all I can say hello hey it's Ray I'm here oh hey Ray yeah, okay I'm uh I'm just inside getting some stress. I just got here just a second. I parked all the way in back on the same side as the... Uh, what kind of um, car is it? It's a white... Uh, yeah, I'm out here by... Out of, oh, okay. So you're yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. I'm just walking in. All right. Okay, all right. Okay. Know. He's got his wife with him, so I feel a lot better already, y'all. All right. Uh, I probably I don't know if I'll get any video. I'm just gonna leave the camera going uh, and I'll roll the windows down so y'all can hear But yeah, he's probably gonna uh, drive it. We just have some grass to cut Yeah Ferris Ferris is gone. So now let's let's uh, do what we need to do to, to progress In the business, right? So let me figure out how to work. But how, how I'm gonna get home. Look, I'm ready to get home It's 3 30 man. It's gonna be 5 o'clock before I get home it took a lot longer, man. Uh, but, you know. We can get on the interstate and get on back, man. Uh, that was relatively painless. I mean, I'd rather do this than have a bunch of tire kickers coming to the house and shit. You know? And, yeah. Y'all see it. Yeah. Yeah. 
Gotta love it. And I told him, you know, if you need anything, I mean, if you got any questions, just call me, man. You know? So, yeah. I'm stoked though, y'all. Uh, not only to get off the mower, I knew I was going to sell it. I knew I was going to get what I needed to get for it. But to get, you know, a $2,000 profit on the mower, plus I used it, it doesn't get much better than that. I mean, I, I don't know. Uh, and like, and, and even even he even, even he recognizes like, man, this thing is so clean and so uh, such a beast, right? You know. But I'm not only am I stoked about getting off the mower, y'all. I'm also stoked about the decision to move on from the mower. Uh, and you guys have been with me since I bought the mower. So y'all have seen the progression of what I used the mower for and uh, what, when I bought it, what I paid for it, and what I did to it, and you know, uh, and all that. But this is what it takes, man, I think, for me at this moment, for me not to have to I dig into monies. I need to use monies that the business has already made to make more money. And so it was really, when you sit down and think about the decision to sell the mower, it's really a no-brainer. I know a lot of guys, are, well, you, you know, will come in the comments or have been coming in the comments since I said I was going to sell it, and they're like, you know, dude, that mower's worth more money than than what you're asking for, it, or that mower, you know. You need to keep it, man. You probably never have another mower like that. Well, I don't keep machines because I'll never have another one like it. Uh, th that's not. I keep machines to make money with. That's why. I, that's why I keep machines. Uh, there's no other reason. I don't get uh, too hardcore personally attached to a machine. Uh, you can't let it. You know, uh, if I deem that it's not making and not being used and not making the money that I need it to make based on what I got in it, based on what it, I can get for it, I'm not gonna sit around and let $8,000 sit in the street for nothing. Meanwhile, another year goes by and the mower gets less value, valuable because it is a 2005 model. You gotta weigh that, man. You know, you gotta weigh it. You know, right now, it's worth it. And it's not a bad deal for anybody either. I'm not beating nobody, and nobody's beating me. But if I if I hold on to it too long, then I'm gonna take a hit. I'm not gonna be able to get what I need to get for it because they're developing mowers every single day. The newer, uh, they might be more expensive, but you know, uh, yeah. So at the end of the day, I take this money, and I need to do something else with it that's more lucrative than what that was just saying that's just my thinking you know and i don't know you know if that's you know the best decision at this given at this moment but to me it is and since uh, i'm the one that's got to live with the consequences the good and the bad then i'm gonna do what i need to do what i think based on my experience and based on what i feel in my in my head you know and y'all notice that one thing about me is I don't beat to the same drum beat as a lot of other people do I decide what equipment I keep longer than others and and you know normally I would say you know on a gas mower normally I would say well you know I'm just gonna keep it until the freaking wheels fall off but see that mower is a little bit different man and you got to know that you got to recognize that that mower is not like the Skag and the X-Mark and all that, you know? That mower's on a whole nother level. 
show. Oh, show, y'all. So, so now I'm gonna uh, go by the bank and drop all this money in the bank, and uh, next week we'll be paying off some equipment. And you gotta be disciplined with your money like that. You know, if I could take this money, I could go to Cancun if I wanted to. Or I could take this money, I could just throw it in a bank account and not do nothing with it, right? But that ain't, that, that's the whole reason why I sold it was so I can make, so I can make moves with cash flow that's not taken from me and what I already have got in the bank or whatever, see? This is gonna enable everything uh, that I need to do. Without, and I could do it with money that I got in the bank. I'm not broke or nothing. You know, I know a lot of people are gonna say, well, you just broke, man. You, 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 you know, I ain't broke. But that's why I ain't broke. Because I don't make, I, I don't, I make, I make good financial moves. <laughs>